Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mace Tank by Ample Vape. Um, it comes in four colors. You've got the blue, black, rainbow, and stainless steel. Um, it does take those little disc looking coils in it, which is kind of weird for a tank, but it does. Um, so I'm going to explain that to you and show you it up close. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with the Mace Tank by Ample Vape. Um, this is how it comes packaged. It shows the tank on there. You've got your scratch and sniff. Um, on this side, it just says amplevape.com, Mace Tank. And then on the back, it does give you some parameters as well as what the kit contains. Um, it does come in silver, black, blue, and rainbow. I do have the blue version. Um, this is a 24 millimeter, um, tank and I after work you like I don't even know what I'm saying <laughs> all right so 24 millimeter diameter tank it does come with two glasses the one installed is for a three milliliter juice capacity and it does come with an extra one which makes it a 4.5 and it does come with two coils so we'll go ahead and open the package which these packages always drive me nuts when you gotta slide this thing out there we go okay and you open it up and let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And the box is really nice. And here it is. Again, I do have it in blue. So here is the tank right here. It does come with a coil already installed and then it does give you an extra coil. This one is actually called an ample hive coil. And this one is, let's see on the back, an AHCF1 coil. This is um, actually their coils go in ranges. So this ranges between a 0.25 to a 0.32. It does go from 35 to 65 watts, but it's supposed to be best between 50 and 60 watts. It does come with a um, bigger glass to make it 4.5 milliliter capacity. And then in the bottom, I did not get an instruction booklet. So this is all that came with it. You do have an extender to put on the other glass as well as some O-rings and then of course your little screwdriver. And, um, and then you've got the tank. And again, this is a 24 millimeter diameter. It does say Mace Tank on the bottom by www.amplevape.com. It does have a protruding 510 pin. It is adjustable. It does come with this um, drip tip that is removable. It is an 810 style, so you can use your aftermarket 810 um, drip tips. And I like how they match the O-rings with the drip tip pretty much. And then if you open up the top, it does have these two really, really big juice fills. So whatever um, you're putting your juice in, you want to put it down the sides, never down the middle. Um, again, this will hold three milliliters of e-liquid. On the bottom, you do have um, pretty decent airflow. Whatever you, it is not on a stopper, so whatever you do to one side will happen to the other. And then um, to get to the coil, what you want to do is you want to take this bottom piece here off, and then here's your coil. This is the one that's installed. This is an ADC F1 coil. This one is um, it's a 0.27 to 0.32, I think. Hold on, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I'm going to try to unscrew this. Okay, the reason why they gave you the screwdriver was for this. In order to remove the coil, you do have to actually turn this this way. Oops, sorry. This way. Turn this way. And that takes off it. There we go. So just turn that. And then the coil comes out. And turn it a lot. Turn it a lot. There we go coil comes out and that's the base. This one is um, a 0.27 to 0.32. It is a 30 to 90 watts, but best between 40 and 60 watts. And then to um, put your coil back on, just screw that back on. Again, you're gonna do this one left to loosen it, right to tighten it, to put it in, make sure that you have it in nice and tight. And then this little thing you're gonna put on left. So instead of you tightening it to the right, you're actually gonna tighten it to the left. And put that down. 
Okay, now I've already tested this out with a couple coils because they did send me some extra coils and I've already gone through a couple of them. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know right away, it's gonna take some time to prime up these coils. You do need to let it sit with e-liquid. So put your e-liquid on and let it sit for a while. Usually to prime up sub ohm coils, it only takes like 15 to 20 minutes. I do recommend actually leaving it for maybe like 30 minutes at the minimum. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime up this one. I'm gonna be using this loaded lemon bar. I know exactly what it tastes like and I've already used it. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and soak, literally soak this coil. Okay, so just put a lot, a lot of liquid in there. There we go. Oops. There we go. Put a lot, a lot, a lot. Because this is going to need like a lot to soak in. It looks like I'm overdoing it, which I probably am. But you really, really need to because it it's like so packed with cotton, I think, that it takes a while for it to prime up, which is really, really weird. I'm trying to get those little side spots there. I did it once before and it worked. There we go. There we go. Whoops. On camera. On camera, Wendy. On camera. All right. So I'm going to do that and then just go ahead and screw this back in. Now I am going to tell you that I did, because this is a three mil capacity and it does come with a bigger glass and everybody who watches my channel knows that I like the bigger glass. Um, yeah, the extender that they brought in the package is not long enough for this glass. So I put the extender on and there's still like this much of a gap, um, to screw it on. So I'm not sure if, um, I'm pretty sure this is the retail packaging. I'm not sure though. Um, maybe the retail packaging, it has it longer, but I could not actually put on the bigger glass because the extender is not long enough. So... I did want to let you know about that because all my reviews, I'm dead honest with you. I would have liked to try the bigger glass, but I couldn't do it. So we're going to go ahead and soak that again because it did um, seep in. I'm just going to go ahead and screw this on. So I'm not going to be changing the glass, but you can do it. Um, and then to fill it, just open it up here and fill it this way. Just, I like the fact that these are really, really big juice fill holes. Like literally this dropper bottle feels like nothing. It's like super, super easy. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Now I do have to go and let this sit for you in order to vape it. So we will be back in a little bit with the mace tank so that we can go ahead and take okay, a Okay, so here we are back on top. I had to put on my blue box because it's a blue, it's a blue tank. So you gotta put on the blue box. We're back on top of the Mace Tank by Ample Vape and um, Pros and Cons. Well, let me let me take a vape. Let me take a vape for you. This is at 57 watts. The coils are best between 50 and 60, so I went up to 60. Cloud production is nice. The flavor is, it's good. Um, it's not the best, but it's, it is a good flavor. Um, I get that loaded um, lemon bar really, really well. I know what it tastes like, so I, I do taste it. Um, pros, I like the looks of it. I like the drip tip on it. Um, I love the fill system. Those free, you can literally pour your juice in. I really, really love that. The airflow is not too restricted. It's a little restrictive, but not too restrictive. It does vape very, very smooth. As, as you can hear, there's like barely any noise. I really, really like that. The cons. I can't change the glass because the adapter that they provided is not long enough. So the glass is either too big or the adapter is too small. So I cannot change it from the three mil capacity. That to me is a definite con. Um, another con is when I went to get the coil out of the box, the O-ring was off of it. So if that happens to you, just put it right back on. That's not a problem. It still vapes perfectly fine. 
Um, another con is that it takes a long time for these coils to get saturated. So it's not your normal like 10 to 15 minutes to, you know, um, saturate your coils. If you're having a coil, you definitely want to let it sit for about 30 minutes, if not a little bit more, um, to get it fully, fully saturated. Make sure that you put a lot of e-liquid on it like I did. That way you're not going to have any problems and you won't burn out the coils too quick. Um, like I said, the coils do have a, a really good flavor. I've actually been trying it. I actually had an extra box of both kinds, so I have tried them. Um, other than those things there, I think that it's a really nice tank. I really do. Um, right now it's $37 at heavensgifts.com. I'll leave the link down below. Um, they do come in different colors. I forgot to get all the colors, but they, they come in a lot of colors. I know they have a rainbow. I want to say a stainless steel black. I know the blue. I can't think of the other colors, but I'll leave all that information down below for you. Or, you know, you can click on the website and go ahead and look at that. Again, it's really, really great. Not great flavor, but it's really, really good flavor. Um, is it the best? No, but it's really up there. It really is. Once it's, but it, the, the coils do have to be saturated. You really have to saturate those coils. So don't try to like vape it when you've only had it in for a couple minutes that, you know, getting primed up. You definitely want to give it time to prime. I do wish that the glass, the bigger glass, the extender was um, better. Another thing is when you're taking it apart to get this, because this airflow ring does come off. I didn't show you because I didn't take it apart. It, it, it's, it's on there really, really hard. So the O-rings hold it really, really well. When you take it off, one of the, the bottom O-ring does come off. Just put it right back on, you're fine. But it's like, it, it's really hard to take the whole thing apart just to get the glass. To take out the coil, very easy. Um, like I showed you, you want to make sure that you're turning it the right ways. But other than that, that's good. Um, and it's pretty. It's really, really nice. I mean, it does look good. I can't lie. It it look and it especially looks good on my box. So I love the colors. I I I, I think it vapes really good. In my honest opinion, I think I think it's good. Other than those cons that I mentioned, which the glass can be a con for some people like me, I couldn't make this an all-day tank for me, only because it only holds 3.5 3 milliliters of e-liquid. I definitely need a bigger glass for me personally, but this would definitely be something that I would vape. Um, if you're looking for something like this, I, I think it's it's a great deal. I really do. The coils when saturated, you're great with it. So yeah, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification, even if you're already subscribed because YouTube has been like pulling them off. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a programming error or something, but they have been falling off. And if you want to find me on any of my social media, the links are down below. And of course, as always, um, if you want to leave me a comment or a question or anything like that, I'll be sure to go ahead and respond to you. So I guess until the next one, bye.